Comet is a fuzzing and formal verification tool for Soroban. Here we see the project structure. The project workplace contains multiple contracts. For this demo, we are only interested in vaults. The contracts we want to test and Comet test, our test contract. Here we see the vault contract. It is a large contract, but we'll only focus on the init, get core state, and calculate deposit ratio functions. The init function is where the vault contract is initialized. It sets up the core state where the contract settings, such as the addresses of special accounts and the execution fee are stored. This endpoint is a simple getter for the core state. It reads the core state from storage and returns it to the caller. Calculate deposit ratio function takes three arguments, currency rate, collateral, and debt, and calculates the deposit ratio according to the formula currency rate times collateral divided by debt. There is risk of overflow from the multiplication and risk of division by zero from the division. We will need to take these risks into account when writing our property test for this function. This is the test contract, which contains the test contract's endpoints, init, test deposit ratio, and test get core state. Tests are written as contracts that interact with the target contract. These test contracts have special abilities to manipulate the blockchain state in ways that normal contracts cannot. The contracts have an optional init endpoint for setting up the base state of the test cases. The init function is usually used for setting up accounts, creating contracts, initializing the blockchain state. In this example, we'll initialize a vault contract instance and set it up. First, we use the create contract function from the Comet library for deploying a contract with a specified address and a WASM hash. The address is a constant declared on line 15. This will be the address of the vault contract instance created. We also need to pass the hash of the WASM code of the vault contract. The fxdao hash value is passed as an argument to the init function by the framework. The init function of the vault contract is called, initializing it with the addresses set to the address of the test contract. The fee is set to 100. The test cases are implemented as endpoints with names starting with a test underscore prefix and return the boolean. The first test case is called test underscore deposit ratio. It tests calculate deposit ratio and takes three parameters, currency rate, collateral, and debt. Here we make some assumptions about the input values to avoid division by zero and overflow errors. To make an assumption, we simply do an early return. We call the calculate deposit ratio endpoint of the vault contract. If it returns without an issue, we return true. This test calls the get core state endpoint of the vault contract and checks if the core state matches the initial values set in the init function. Then it calls the get core state function and compares the results with the expected values. If all the assertions pass, it returns true. Now we are going to take a look at the Comet CLI. We run the test with the command Comet test. Comet initially compiles the test contract. The output we see on the screen is the compilation output. Warnings, compiling, finished, etc. After the compilation, we see processing contracts, test underscore fxdao. Comet displays discovered two test functions and lists them. We have test underscore deposit ratio and test underscore get core state. And the tool immediately starts running the first test function. This test function has three parameters. The fuzzer generates random input to check if the property holds for a wide variety of values. In the next version of Comet, we will be able to symbolically execute these in addition to fuzzing. Once test underscore deposit ratio is passed, then test underscore get core state starts. Since it doesn't have any parameters, this test completed much faster than the first one.